possible because his hitboxes are very, they're not small, but they're very precise in what they're going to do. Just kind of how it is in Street Fighter. So um, Greninja's there to just kind of open up space and allow, oh, it's actually Jumbo Jack. Okay. Oh, it's Jumbo Jack. Yeah, okay. Jumbo Jack. So it's going to be Diddy Greninja. Oh, you playing as Diddy? Yeah. Okay, and then I at think that point, Diddy. they're both. Looks like two characters that are really quick, have burst mobility options. So I'm expecting them to be very aggressive, overwhelming, and try to isolate one player. That's a good strategy. Actually, Jumbo Jack, very overlooked, but he also has a high-level PGR win. I believe he beat Abadongo somewhere, either at Hyrule Saga or a local. Is he from Arizona as well? I think so. Okay. Now, Arizona's a strong region, definitely. All right, we'll have to see. So I could definitely see Jumbo Jack and Stroder taking this. I can too, favored to win, but uh, ER17, RDK, Bayonetta, and I would assume that it would be Rosalina. So, Looks very like some dudes are setting up a big old camera behind us. Very volatile. Wow. Yeah, just taking pictures of the event. I don't know, man. That's a straight up camcorder. Camcorder? Oh, like, like an old school camcorder? No, like, look at this. Look behind you. It's so big and professional. Oh, well, yeah, dude. Must be some film students or something. And anyway, I know it's a regional. Stroda's going Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario? Okay. Oh, Lucina. Oh, Lucina. Yeah. I guess, uh,. Yeah, always too a little. Lucina, I can see definitely controlling some more space in Greninja. Greninja takes a little more to get in, although he does have that water shirt in his disposal, but Lucina has that nice big disjoint. Mm -hmm. I can see him getting some good early kills with F Smash. All right, we're going to go to Smashville. So All right, kicking be... things off. Immediately just opting to hold shield, play a little more defensively. ER-17 reaching out with that Luma. That's going to be so good in this matchup. And Luma's dead. Yep. Really? Okay. Actually, we were talking about isolating players, but I really think that Luma's going to be the one to be isolated. And at that point, um, Rosalina really doesn't contribute as much. Yeah, they definitely got to focus on getting rid of that Luma before anything. Yep. But they right. got to do that while the Bayonetta RDK is up there. He can get some crazy early kills. Yeah, RDK right now, they're, they're opting to just kind of 1v1, and I really don't mind that at the start of a, of a doubles match, just kind of feeling the opponent out, seeing what kind of options they like to do whenever they're pressured. Yeah. Ooh, down air. Is that going to kill? Ooh, very close. Yeah, Stroda's off. His recovery isn't going to be able to get him back on stage. I think he actually got his jump. Oh. So, that's why. We're waiting for an air dodge there. Again, just maintaining that center stage. Stroda is right there. Three F smashes in a row. Just, oh, four. Damn. Nice. <laughs> Already looking strong. Okay, now I really want to see what... Um, Zeddy Kong is a really evasive character, and he can play very safe. It's something that we uh, something that we have a double strategy in Colorado with Shu and Bang, where Shu is mainly the one to kill, while Bang is the one who sets up and kind of you know, protects Shu, because Yoshi doesn't really have the best neutral in the game. So Yeah. I forgot Shu and Yoshi dubs. Yeah, usually. So I want to see how... Jumbo Jack is able to preserve his stock and kind of just, you know, keep people away and allow Lucina to isolate people and just destroy them. That monkey flip's definitely going to do the job. A bit of a gambit if it can be punished, but see right there. ER-17 saw it coming, shielded. And ER-17 opting to go aggressive. I like to catch on an air dodge. ER-17 saw stage and Stroder being a little early with that up smash, trying to predict that neutral getup. Diddy Kong up, up throw is so good in doubles, too. Why is that? Low base knockback, and it sends you straight up. Even if with DI, it's pretty it's pretty minimal where you can actually go left or right. So it's very easy to combo into a strong up there like Lucina's. Ooh, the banana actually saving him. Going for the up B, just getting some damage. Forward air. All right. At this point, ooh. All right, I like that aggressive option. Utilizing the platform, uh, using monkey flip. Now, what do you think at this point did RDK? I think ER17 just killed RDK. I, I believe so. Aside from that, uh, what do you think that ER17 and RDK you know, should do in this situation? It's not too far down, but they are at a deficit. So. Yeah, honestly, I think he's got to maybe stay back a bit, try and use that Luma. Um, there goes the Luma, right as I say that. Every time, man. Three. Okay. ER17 without a Luma. What's he going to do at the stage? Ooh, it catches the neutral getup with the F-Smash. Smart. RDK on one stock, but this is a 
This is actually doable, I think. It is. I think if you if you're able to kill Diddy first, um, then you have a low or a high percent Lucina. It's a lot easier. But it looks like they have these team combos. Missing him right there, but down tilt. Oh, we got footstools up in here. Ooh, that was a great uh, get up attack. RDK looking for that F smash. That is some huge range and huge power. RDK is definitely gonna want to look for an opportunity to do that. Ooh, Maybe wow. set up a witch type. F smash. Uh, yeah, I, like the, I like the patience coming out from Jumbo Jack, just waiting for him to throw out an option. Especially when you have the Oh, that was such a bad heel slide. He went the wrong mm -hmm. way, stalled on the platform, and they were able to catch it. Yeah, the, the initial hit, the strong hit of the Lucina's up B is actually really, really powerful. All right, so do you think any adjustments are going to be made in terms of uh, stages or? Well, we're seeing Stroder going Bayonetta off the bat. Okay, what, kind of, what stage would you like to see RDK? All right. It looks like going to Battlefield, but preferably something with higher platforms so we can maybe score earlier kills off the top. Okay. Yeah, play to the strengths. I see. All right. Utilizing up air. Nice. I really just want to see RDK and ER-17 just pick someone and isolate them. Just I know that the, a lot of these the characters that uh, Stroder and Jumbo Jack are playing have a lot of burst options to yeah. you know, kind of get them across the stage. But at least just apply that pressure, because right now uh, it seems like Stroder's getting the best of RDK in the Ditto matchup. Stroder and Jumble Jack are actually doing a lot of what you just mentioned. I really notice they're keeping each player isolated. Mm -hmm. And again, right now you see uh, RD, you see ER17 opting to go after Jumble Jack when uh, Stroder was at the edge. Yeah, not the smartest choice. He should try and focus on edge guarding. All right, Luma's still in play. So I guess we can count that as a third player. <laughs> wow, the base knockback on that up there. Dang it, man. Stroder's comboing Luma as if it were another player. Trying to rack up all that damage he can. All right. Oh! Ooh. Who actually did that? I, I, think, that, I think that was Stroder. Stroder, oh, he uh, down aired. Oh, what's going on? Oh, no! Oh, oh wow, that's so cute. Oh, oh Luma's still down there. Luma's still down there. What is going Dude, on? Dude, Luma was just watching. The worst teammate. Luma's life is flashing before its eyes. Ooh, good reactions coming out from uh, ER17. I keep, I keep wanting to call him bro. <laughs> <laughs> just from the tag, but. Yeah. All right, Luma out of play. Nice. ER17 just had Jumbo Jack off stage, but again, missed an opportunity to try and potentially edge guard. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess RDK also did have to recover. He wasn't in a position where he really could aggress, so I think I like the uh, the option just you know keeping Stroder away so that way they don't double team on the ledge. <laughs> double witch. <laughs> you know that I actually think that's one of the funniest uh, death sound animations, and just hearing it twice, one I, after another. Every time Lucina gets, every, no, every time Bene gets hit, she has to make it so dramatic as possible. It's just like, ooh, it's like, ah. Oh. She's bad, man. Well, that's a little higher tone. It's not as monotone, but. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no. She's flashy. She has to. Yeah. Even in death. She's got to go girl. out the way she lived. Ooh, getting witch time. All right. Okay. Air dodging past. Damn, four air dodges, man. <laughs> I know that thing's busted, but. Oh, wow, that that worked. I, that worked. I saw that coming across <laughs> the stage. I'm like, well, he's actually going to which time, and there goes his stock. One right. stock apiece for all four players. Now, uh, RDK right now at the percent deficit, a huge percent deficit. Yeah, yeah. huge. So he's got to make this back. And you see, right now they're not even focusing on uh, on ER17. They're going straight for RDK. So I want to see what ER17 is doing, and I really like what he's doing right now. Yeah, RDK has the better burst options. He can kill a lot earlier, although Rage. Rosalina can definitely get those super early kills, especially on a stage like Battlefield. Agreed. Although the blast zones are pretty far from the platform, so Ooh, both not. of them having to recover. Already ER17 knocked across the stage. What's he gonna do? Ooh, spot oh, dodge. Nice, and I like how ER17 right, they have the tossed the stage, yeah. Jumbo Jack straight into that combo from RDK. Oh no, he was trying to go all the way in with those barrels. That actually hit? How did that hit? Oh. Oh man, that's unfortunate. All right, he's still at a pretty high percent. If he can get the kill right now in Jumbo Jack, he has a chance. He does. 
Ooh, I oh the. But first he's got to get back on stage. Try and control right. it. Luma gone. Let's see how our, uh, let's see how ER17 uh, plays around this. Right now, just keeping. I like what he's doing. He's keeping this part of his stage. Doesn't really. He can't really control center stage as well, just because there are two characters. But waiting. Oh, just, oh, that could be just it. Just does That's it. it. Holy. Down to the last stock. Has him at the edge. ER17 situation. has to make a miracle here if he wants to even up the set. And this ER17's ER time to prove himself. All right, let's see if he can do it. And Bayonetta does have a really easy time getting rid of Luma, but right now ER17 is often to use more of a just spacing out. He has to be weary of Witch Time, though. And additionally, if ER17 does get too aggressive, Stroder does have that Witch Time. Ooh, great tech. Teching saves lives. Right. Luma oh, can't this tech. is actually so close. 101 to 115. ER17 has to find that mm -hmm. one opportunity to get that kill. I wonder Going if for uh, that dash attack, I wonder if Stroder's not going to punish it. Point. Wow, just got. <laughs> oh, down here. That could happen oh, something. Oh, but he misses the extra on that. This is oh, actually crazy. crazy. Oh, wow. Witch Twist actually beats that out? Man, come on. He's Jabbing. pressuring that shield with mm -hmm. Luma. He wants to get him into Maintain a that center stage position. Oh, that was his chance to up smash. Oh, oh. He was looking to read a roll. I, I want to see a fourth throw. Oh, too many pummels. Oh, no. Oh, no! the back air. And what oh. a heartbreaking ending to that set. ER17 had it in the bag, but just could not mm -hmm. find that kill. Yeah, just those jitters get you at the end. Yeah, man. Yeah, he had the opportunity to up smash and just, he missed it. He was going for jab. Happens to the best of us, man. Mm -hmm. But still, a pretty good showing. Oh, yeah. Amazing job by ER17. All right, who do we have? Oh, we have uh, our...